Welcome friends. Uh, we have seen uh, how to calculate uh, the mean median mode and also we have seen how to calculate the dispersion and the deviations mean absolute deviation uh, median absolute deviation mean average deviation and, and as well as standard deviation calculation now in this video we'll be looking at uh, a different concept of uh, statistics which is called quartile concept <coughs> it is called quartiles okay so quartile concept now what do we mean by quartile there are several concepts like quartile and also percentile now let's first talk about the quartile concept Quartile means simply once we get a data set. So suppose we are having a data set. So let's the range of the data uh, say for example 5, uh, 9, 13, 18. Say this is a data set. Now among this data set, uh, if we divide our data set into four different sections. Okay. Let's say uh, this is our data set and we divide this data set into four different sections then one of the section is going to be a quartile of that quartile simply denotes quarter means one fourth of total data set data okay one fourth of total data okay simply so if this is our data set and divide into four different parts so this five this five uh, this data number five is also a quartile so this is this will be called as first quartile this is be called the second quartile this is be called the third quartile and fourth and so on so there are quartiles like that okay so you simply divide it into four different part divide the data set into four different parts and you pick up any one of it it will be called one fourth of that whole population it will be called a quartile okay now uh, the second important thing is how to calculate the quartile so how to so calculating Quartile is important. So we can calculate quartiles using mathematical formulas and also we can calculate these quartiles using simple uh, de simple derivation. So we can calculate the quartiles for two different types. One is for non-frequency data and another is for frequency data. Okay. So we can calculate quartile for both the type non-frequency data as well as frequency data. Now, for example, say uh, for calculating uh, no, for non-frequency data and frequency data is different because they are having different formulas. Now, if we need to calculate this quartile for non-frequency data, it will become easier for us. For example, say if we get a data say like that. So say 5, 9, 13, uh, then 3, 12. 27, 8, 16, 13, and so on. So suppose we are getting this is a data set. This is a non-frequency type data set. From this data set, we need to uh, get the quartile value. How can we get the quartile value? The tendency, the way of calculating quartile value for a non-frequency data is divided into several steps. The first step is to divide this data in three, two different sections. Two different sections. Equal division is required. So we need to get the number of uh, the data. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's 9 data. So if you get odd number of data, so if we get even data like 8, 6, 4, something like that, we can divide it into equally. 2, 2 for 4, 3, 3 for 6, 4, 4 for 8. But instead of here, we are getting 9 values. So what we'll, we'll be doing, we'll take the, we'll take this odd one data from the middle out. We won't calculate this data. We simply hold this as a first group. We simply take this one as a second group. So for an odd number of data in the data set, we won't calculate the middlemost data. So we'll get only the equal number data. So four here, four, four left, four right. We're getting first and second group. Now among the first group, the median, so try to understand. So the median of first group is going to be quartile one. The median of second group is going to be quartile 3. And the median of whole data set, which is here, data set, which is here, this 12, is going to be quartile 2. So in any condition, quartile 2 is the median of the whole data set. 
Now once we divide into two groups, excluding this one, in this case this is going to be the median of this whole data set. As we all know, simply calculation of median for this kind of data, so we get 12. So here the answer for the Q2 is 12. Now let's look for the um, quartile 1 and quartile 3 calculations. So here we what we get, uh, we need to find the median. So we have 4 in each case. So what we need to do for calculating the median of the even of second group. So let's calculate the median. So what will be, what is going to be the median of this first group? So let us arrange the data 3, then 5, then 9, then 13. And in this case, let's arrange it 8, 13, 16, and 27. Right? Now let's look at this one. So if this one is at the middle, so we need to get the whole sequence arranged. So it will be 3, 5, 9, 3, 13. So what we need to do, we need to arrange the data in sequential way. So 3, 5, 9, 13. Then, uh, then say three five. Then it should be eight. Then it should be nine. Then it should be thirteen. So we're having two thirteen. So we'll put two thirteens there. Then there is so so there is twelve before thirteen. So twelve. Then thirteen. Then thirteen. Then sixteen. Then twenty seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the data that we are getting it. Right? So what the first important step is to arrange the data. So please don't forget it. First important step is to arrange the data. So once we arrange the data from the lowest value to the highest value, then we need to divide them into two different sections. Right? So as I've told you before, we need to divide into two different groups. We can't divide it into two different groups until and unless we have arranged them. So please don't look at this. So once we arrange them, again we take this 4 and we'll take this 4. So this 4 will be taking here, this 4 will be for. So this 4 is for quartile 1, this 4 will be for quartile 3 and the median for all of this data is going to be quartile 2. Now in this case, the median which remains here because it is an odd number, so it's 9. So we get 1 at the middle which is 12. So this 12 is going to be the median for this whole data set. So this is going to be the quartile 2. So the quartile 2 value is 12. Now let's calculate the quartile values for Q1 uh, and Q3. Now for Q1 what we get? So let's say 3, 5, 8 and 9. 4 datas are there and this is the even number value. So to calculate the median of an even number value what we need to do? We need to take 2 of the middle ones. So 5 plus 8 divided by 2 what we get 13 by 2 simply simply 6.5 is going to be our answer so this is going to be our q1 6.5 on the other hand if we take this one so the middle 13 and 16 is there so we'll add 13 and 16 divided by 2 because again in this case also the number of data is 4 so it's even number so we need to take the middle 2 and divide it with 2 so we get here 29 and by 2 is 14.5. So this is going to be the Q3. So in this data set, quartile 1 is 6.5, quartile 2 is 12, which is the whole, uh, which is the median of whole data set, and quartile 3 is 14.5. So the first important step for quartile calculation is to arrange the data from the lowest value to highest value because it's all about getting the median values. So we need to arrange the data first, then we'll divide into two different groups. One left-sided group is going to be getting you the first quartile and the median of that first group is going to be the first quartile. The right-hand side group, the median of the second uh, group here is going to give you the second quartile and the left out part which is given at the um, bottom and, and whatever is remaining, this whole data set will give you a median and the median for the whole data set is going to give you the second quartile. So this is the very basic idea about the quartile distribution. Now this is a non-frequency type data and uh, calculating this uh, quartiles are simply calculation of median for this non-frequency type data that we have already seen. Now let's see how to calculate this quartile values for the frequency type data. So let's look for uh, frequency type data. So our frequency type data, let's say we have average age in years and we are also having frequency here in two columns. In age, we are having 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let me take here. And the frequencies that we are getting here is 5, 
10 so let me write it so 10 27 18 6 say 15 were, is there for 16 and yes 16 frequency 38 is 17 frequency 9 so this is a frequency data table that they have provided us and how to find out uh, the data set for that so how to find out the cumulative frequency uh, how to find out the uh, quartile value of this particular data set so they have given us quartile 1 what is quartile 1 what is quartile 2 and what is quartile 3 they have asked us this question so for a non frequency type data it is easier because simply the median of whole data set is q2 median of the first group of the data set is q1 and frequency of the second group data set uh, and so not frequency median of the second group of data set is q3 but in this case we are having a frequency data and the formula for calculating the quartile for this data are simply fc which is called a cumulative frequency this is called the cumulative frequency fc plus 1 divided by 2 this is for quartile 1 this is the value this is the formula for quartile 2 it should be a 2 then we get by 2 and for quartile 3 simply put a 3 at before so f sub c plus 1 divided by 2 so these are the way of calculating the cumulative frequencies for uh, uh, and also the quartile values for a frequency data and for getting the frequency data uh, for getting the quartile values for a frequency data we must rely on cumulative frequencies please try to understand the concept whenever we are trying to solve any median equation or the equation involving median for a non frequency data it is very easier because we need to find the midpoint but whenever we are trying to solve a median or something which is related to median for a frequency type data we need to rely upon cumulative frequencies because except for cumulative frequencies it is not easy for us to get the values so we must find the cumulative frequency out first then we can do these things because this FC's are cumulative frequencies okay so what are the cumulative frequency that we are going to get let's write it here so this is the cumulative frequency chart let's put the values now how cumulative frequency are calculated I have already discussed earlier so again I am telling you the first frequency first absolute frequency is 5 first cumulative frequency is always similar or same like the first absolute frequency because cumulative frequency is the frequency added with the previous frequency of a frequency table so here the previous frequency is 0 so non, nothing is previous frequency it starts from this frequency 5 so the cumulative frequency will be just like the absolute frequency here which is 5 but right after that we are having this first frequency which is 5 now the absolute frequency is 10 for this particular data so we add this 10 with 5 and we get 15 in this position right and after that we previously have 15 now we'll add this next frequency which is 27 so 27 plus 15 is 42 we get this 42 value of frequency now we add 42 with 18 so we'll add this to what we get we simply get 60 add this to we get 66 now 66 with 16 we add them and we get we get 82 we get is 82 with this 31 and what we get we get 120 I believe okay now we add this 120 with 9 129 will be our answer so this is our frequency cumulative frequency data which we want which we require now once we get this cumulative frequency data now this FC is provided here so the quartile value for one quartile value for two and quartile value for three can be calculated using these data and what we require here is the FC which is called the cumulative frequency and this FC is highest cumulative frequency or simply if you don't want to calculate the cumulative frequency you need to have you need to add all the absolute frequencies to get the value of absolute frequency and you have also known that the highest cumulative frequency is equals to the absolute addition of the all frequency or the sum of all frequencies so instead if you don't want to calculate the cumulative frequency you can simply look for the addition and the summation of all absolute frequency 
this will similarly works so fc stands for cumulative frequency the highest cumulative frequency or else the summation of all absolute frequencies you get the frequency value here now here it is 129 so the frequency value that we get is 129 here so what we'll be doing we simply put this value in all the case because fc is constant for all the case of quartiles we simply varying in this 1 2 and 3 here it is previously is 1 into its 2 into and 3 into to get 3 quartiles so let's put here 1 into fc is 129 plus 1 divided by 2 right here it is 2 fc is 129 plus 1 again divided by 2 here it is 3 into 129 plus 1 divided by 2 right so what will be the answer here it is 130 by 2 so 130 by 2 simply means 65 here it is 130 will be the answer and in this case 65 into 3 so what will be the answer 195 I guess so this 3 are the answers 65 is the first quartile 130 is the second quartile 195 is the third quartile for this frequency data so to get the quartile values for a frequency data we need to rely upon this formula fc plus 1 by 2 for quartile 1 we simply multiply it with 1 for quartile 2 we we'll, uh, multiply it by 2 for quartile 3 we multiply it by 3 okay so these are the formulas to get it now you can imagine here if this is 65 is the first quartile so you must have a gap of 65 to get second quartile so 65 plus 65 should be our answer for second quartile so the answer is 130 and yes we can see the second quartile is 130 now again third quartile is again another 65 uh, duration uh, duration of 65 uh, 65 data point away from this second one so we'll add 30, 130 with 65 to get what is called third quartile and yes third quartile is similar to this so what we can say if this is our data set in this case if this is our data set for this quartile arrangement suppose this is our data set then we divide it into four equal divisions each of the division contains 65 so it is the start this is the end so it is a to b is the total data set range among this range 65 is quartile 1 and quartile 2 is 65 plus 65 130 and quartile 3 is 195 and total is 195 plus 65 will be more so 260 will be the total range of our data set okay so this is our calculation of quartiles okay these are the ways of getting the quartile values now you can also get this quartile values from a cumulative frequency graph so, okay so simply you will require cumulative frequency you sometimes don't require simply calculate the sum of the frequency it will get, get you the fc values simple as that okay but if you want to calculate uh, or arrange this particular quartile values from a graph which is called the cumulative frequency over the variable data graph which is called ojaib graphs uh, what is ojaib graph we are going to tell in the next video in the next video we'll be talking about what is ojaib graph and how to derive this cumulative frequencies uh, and how to put a plot of this ozai curve and then how to get this quartile values by extrapolating this cumulative uh, ozai graphs okay so that's it and i hope this video is helping you thank you